Hello, you guys. Welcome to a, what month is it? I don't even know. Another favorites video. This, it's March now. I'm going to be talking about things from February and March because that's just how I do things. So buckle up. We have much to discuss in terms of, I've got some like fashion style things, a couple beauty things, books, of course, home organization, all the things. I also thought that maybe these favorites videos or monthly videos would be a good time to kind of like update you on how the Get My Life Together series is going, as well as what I have planned for the month in the way of that. Sort of like an, a, bit, a bit of accountability for me, um, but also just a, I don't know, an update, if you will, an, an easy way to update on this channel. So let me know what you think if that's if you're interested in seeing those updates in these videos. Okay, I'm gonna try not to touch the table so that I don't shake the camera. Um, let's start with the favorites and then we'll do the updates at the end. That way, if you're not about that, you just wanna see the favorite things, then I don't have to waste your time. So let's just start with um, headbands because, well, I, there's one on my head and there's one in my hand. I have recently acquired a, a, a affinity, a, a, a love for headbands. I've always liked headbands. You've seen me wear probably the same few over and over again throughout the years. And I went on a little trip to Charleston with some girlfriends a couple weekends ago, and I stumbled across this little beauty in anthropology. And here's the thing about headbands. I don't know if it's my head shape, I want like a reverse cone head going this way, but certain things just like slip off my head. And so I kind of just always have this problem of, needing headbands to fit right, but also not be too tight because if they're too tight and in the wrong places, they give me a headache. So what I'm basically saying is that I have a finicky head and that um, I'm very particular about headbands. So these are the ones that may not work for you. Maybe you have a finicky head too, but your head is finicky in a different shape or way than mine. But I just want to say, I love this headband so much, so much so that I went online and ordered what was that noise? That sounded like a weird animal squeal. There's always something around here. Uh, I went back on and ordered another color in it, which is this colorway. And I also ordered like three other headbands because you know, I am kind of, when I find something I love, I, I will buy it in multiple colors because if I love it, then I, I just love it. And I know I'm gonna wear the, the poo out of it. So. I am obsessed with this headband and I really love this one um, as well. And I will link the others. I didn't, I didn't drag them all out here because I figured we didn't need to spend five minutes in a video with me just showing you headbands, but I will link the other ones, some of my other favorites below. They are, you know, I mean, you can get headbands at Target for cheaper for sure than you can get them from Anthropology. But like I said, these are not only beautiful, but um, very, very comfortable. And I know how I am with headbands and I will keep them and wear them for years and years and years. So they'll be worth the $20 or $24 instead of $7 or whatnot. Sunglasses, whole other story. Amazon only, cheap sunglasses only for me because I break and lose and sit on and ruin sunglasses constantly. Let's just talk about shoes while, while we're on the fashion-y things. If I can, what did I do with the shoes? Here they are. All of the shoes I'm showing you today are on the affordable end. I. I don't, I don't, I feel weird about showing shoes I've worn. It's just kind of gross. But these are like a Sherpa, very, very soft. You guys know by now my love for slides. I just, I love slides. They are, I wear them like slippers. Sometimes I wear them outside as well. Um, it's just, they're my go-to, my go-to shoe are slides. So all variations and you know, I have those Adidas slides that I wear constantly for like outdoor work and stuff, but these are ones you can wear with regular clothes and um, feel more put together. You know what I'm saying? Like the Adidas ones you wear when you're doing the athleisure mom bun thing, these I can wear with a cute uh, dress, like a cute t-shirt dress uh, with jeans and a top, whatever. I love them. These are from the Stars Above brand from Target. Another pair from Target, and I'm so embarrassed to show you these because I left them on the porch, so they are kind of scummy, so just go with it, okay? These may be, I don't wanna say my new favorite because my Cezanne sandals are probably always, forever and always gonna be my favorites because they're leather and they'll last me a lifetime. These probably will not last a lifetime. They are from Target, but this like very like squishy 
um, fluffy kind of, I don't know what the term is, but this style of fabric is very in right now for purses and sandals. And it's like that, just that kind of like squishy vibe. Well, sometimes that can be a little much, but these are just, again, Goldilocks, just right. It's just the right amount of squish. And they have a strap that goes around your ankle. So I prefer things that don't split my toes. Splitting my toes gives me blisters. But sometimes with the slide, you know, if you're just sliding your foot into it, um, it can make your feet hurt if you're walking long distances. If you're like me and you have really high arches, then that just can be painful to walk around in all day. Well, I wore these around Charleston and we walked and walked and walked and walked around Charleston and I love them so. I just, I do. It's just Velcro around the ankle, but it stays. It doesn't come undone. So you can make them as tight as you want or as loose as you want. Um, very, not one size fits all. Obviously you want to get your size, but I just mean, you know, sometimes shoes with straps and stuff, it's like, Ugh, you gotta have tiny ankles or whatever. These are just fantastic. Target, very, very affordable. Highly recommend. You'll probably see me wearing a ton of those throughout the rest of the spring. And I'm gonna take the shoe quite literally right off my foot to show you this last one. <sighs> well, I guess I should take them both so that it's not just one shoe. That's weird. Don't worry, they don't stink. Um, <clears throat> maybe a little. These are from Walmart. And so these are slip-on like Sherpa shoes. Now, initially I thought, well, this is the wrong time of year for this. It's, it's really not, okay? Sometimes I, I have to get on like the LTK, like the like to know it. I think, although they don't call it that anymore, they just call it LTK. Um, and see what the fashion bloggers are doing with certain things because sometimes I just, my brain doesn't think through like, can I wear that? How would I wear that? Anyways, I saw one of the, the fashion blogger girls wearing these with like Old Navy t-shirt dresses. And I had just ordered two Old Navy t-shirt dresses to wear. And I thought, well, let me just grab these because they're super cheap um, from Walmart. And I love them. I have worn the absolute heck out of these. I'm wearing them today with my big baggy cut up jeans um, and this sweater because it's 55 degrees today. Um, but I've also worn them with a t-shirt. I wear them with a jeans and a sweatshirt. It's just a different feel than regular tennis shoes. And I feel like it's such a good transition piece where, especially if you live in a climate where spring does not mean warm necessarily. I love these and I have been wearing the heck out of them. So highly recommend. I'm gonna put them right back on my little tootsies right now. And I don't have, I don't think, let me look at my list. I don't think I have any actual like clothing items to show you um, because I just haven't been buying clothing. We'll talk about what I've been doing this month, but I have not really been buying any new clothing, uh, which is totally fine because I have plenty. Uh, now, I do want to share this with you. I have gone back and forth about sharing this with you guys for a number of years because it is a pricier item, but I have, I have shown in a few photos lately and y'all have asked about it, but something is so good and so absolutely worth the money and I have put it to the test. I can tell you it will last. There's no doubt in my mind it will last for you. So I just feel like, I feel, I feel ready, okay? I feel ready to share this with you. <sighs> so overly dramatic, I know. But this is a, obviously, a purse. This is a crossbody purse. It is from, there's nothing in it, which is why it's super floppy. Um, it is from the brand Gigi New York. You want something that's going to last you potentially your entire adult life. Um, this brand is gonna be your, your go-to. This is not an overly branded bag. Um, not, none of their bags are. I don't think any of their bags have a bunch of their branding on them. So they really are very timeless and classic and absolutely beautiful, incredible quality, okay? So this is, I've had this bag, I wanna say for maybe four, four years or so, and it looks completely brand new. You would never, I mean, other than this little bit of um, something, which I can like literally lick. Well, I'm not gonna lick it, but I can lick my finger and let's move on. Um, there's a tiny little spot on the bottom, but I can clean that up super fast. But it, other than that, it looks completely brand new. Um, it is real leather. It smells like real leather. Um, it's such, it's, so it's got the flap like this. And then you've got two pockets right here, okay? And then you've got your big inside and you've got two back pockets. And then just kind of this center area. 
you would be shocked. Oh, and it zips at the top if you want that extra security. I don't think I've ever zipped it at the top because the flap is enough for me. Um, but this is, I stick my phone in here if it's not in my back pocket. Um, and it's got the adjustable strap length. Um, and the other fun thing that you can do with this bag is change out the straps. Now, Gigi New York does sell some alternative straps, but these just, they hook on right here. So I've shared with you guys before some of the straps that I like from like Etsy and stuff. I'll link a few below, but that's such a fun way to change the feel of a bag. So if you were to invest in like a camel colored one of these bags, then you could get, you know, a spring and fall and winter strap or something like that for the bag if you wanted to change it up. But in terms of just a crossbody, throw this on, don't think about it, slide it to the back, slide it to the front, quality, beautiful bag. They come in multiple colors. You just, you really cannot go wrong with the, this brand. I will also say that GG, GG New York does do sales from time to time. Um, I don't know if they, uh, work that I'm not working with them. I don't know if they work with influencers or not. So you may be able to Google and find a code from someone else um, that will can probably get you 20 to 25% off. They have sales from time to time, which is a huge chunk on a purse this price. I just, I need to, to share my love for this because when I find something that's such an incredible quality and to me just stand out um, for the price, just to be honest, I do have a few, you know, designer bags. I do have a few Louis Vuitton bags and stuff. This bag, the quality of this bag is just so incredible comparatively when you think about, um, you know, a lot of like the canvas bags from Louis Vuitton. This is a leather bag. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's so stunning. I love the brand and I will probably, um, I would like to add one or two more of their bags to my collection for just my classic, you know, carry all bags uh, that just look so good with nearly everything um, and I love them. So. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's get into my little my little bag of beauty things. How adorable is this, by the way? This came with, I ordered some things from Merit, the beauty brand Merit, and when you order some things from their website, they often send you, I don't, I don't remember what like the threshold is or whatever, if you spend X amount, they send you a makeup bag, and I think the makeup bag changes from time to time, but this one was the bag, and I love it. I now use this like when I recently went to Charleston, I just toss all my makeup in there, tie it up at the top and away you go. I just think it's absolutely precious, darling, precious. Okay. I feel like I've talked about this before, but I just have a few beauty products to share with you. These are almost all from Beauty Pie. I have just absolutely, fall I've, I've fallen in love with them. I think it's been about a year now that I've been shopping from Beauty Pie and I just love the products. They're so good and the prices cannot be beat. This is my, I mean, this is a go-to. So this is the All in Wonder Illuminating Primer. And basically, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's an illuminating primer, but a lot of times I just pop some color corrector on, a little bit of concealer and this on and away I go. I wear it almost like a foundation. Um, it does, to me, feel like it has a little bit of coverage. It's a nude glow. It says after applying moisturizer, smooth one to two pumps over your face and neck area. Use alone for a pepped up complexion or under foundation for a boost of luminosity. So that's kind of exactly what I do. Wear this underneath foundation if I just really want my skin to look glowy and stuff, or I'll wear this on its own. Um, I'll show you another product that's similar to that, but a different brand. So in my recent Beauty Pie order, I picked up these Pro Glow Strobing Drops. So this is kind of not um, in my, my wheelhouse, you know, when I see things like strobing and, and baking, and these words feel like younger, younger people words. You know, I'm a little long in the tooth for that kind of thing. But these drops, okay, guys, all right, you just put that little, little bit on. I'm probably gonna have to do a cutaway to be able to show this to you. Come on, focus, focus on your eggs, Bob. See that little drop? Whoa! I mean, holy hell, look at that what in the world okay if you put this all over your face <laughs> you're gonna look like the guy who stands in the corner at like san francisco and like stands like this you know and it looks like a statue and then you realize it's a person and you're like what the heck that's kind of what you'll look like or like you wrapped yourself in a gold aluminum foil however if you just take a little bit of this and add it you know to your cheeks 
Now listen, if you want, you could put this all over your face and then put a foundation on top of it if you really wanted a glowy look. Could be a bit much. I can't tell you what to do with your life, but I'm just telling you that these strobing drops are amazing. Mix them with a little bit of lotion, something like that. Hold on. Might have a sick pig, which could be very bad news. We've had a lot of animal issues lately. Another bird died. Two of our silky chickens got stuck in the chicken door. The door shut on them. It's a whole thing, okay? Just fine. This is why I'm sitting here with uh, the frivolousness of beauty products and stuff because real life is hard and it sucks sometimes. There's a war and yeah. Let's talk about lipstick, shall we? Okay, strobing drops. Love those so much. I mean, yeah, I just can't say enough good things about those, especially as summer's coming up. You could just pop those, like you could put this on and then a little bit of this as a highlighter or something and away you go, especially if you're like on the beach, a vacation. You could take a little bit of those strobing drops and put them on your shoulders with like a summer dress or a little bit on your décolletage area. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of sexiness. Okay, <sighs> something is very unsexy when you do the Muppet voice to represent sexiness. Now, I also decided to try, the one thing from Beauty Pie that I've not been like jumping on to try is um, concealers and foundations just because they're so hard um, to get the right color and with having to order it online, I'm just like eh. But I decided to bite the bullet because again, I want to know. I have so many things I love from Beauty Pie, I wanna know do I also love their concealers and whatever. So I ordered the shade 200 Butter Milky in their Everyday Great Skin Concealer and I gotta say, Love it, love it. I, um, it dries down pretty like matte because I don't, can, because I don't use any powder under my eyes, I actually like that in the concealer. So for some people they're like, ah, it's drying, I need something that's really hydrating. I do lots of hydrating with eye creams and all the others. But um, when it comes to a concealer, I do want it to dry down a bit because I'm not going to put powder on it. So weigh that in if you're somebody that does use powder you may not like you may not like this as much it may be th the wrong direction for you but for me i really really like this concealer like i said i did shade 200 butter milky and I, i'm really impressed with it so i just wanted to throw that out there and then you know they're lip products okay i talk about them all the time but i did order two new ones and i gotta say just hit the nail on the head every dilly dang time so these are the Beauty Pie Shine Up Lip Color Balms. So this is, seems like it's coming off a little more brown in the camera than it actually is. And then this is kind of a orangey, corally red, which you know is my jam, especially in the spring and summer. So this shade is called Love, Love, Love. And it's what I have on today. It is the perfect everyday neutral. You can see there's absolutely, it's not brown. It looks a little bit brown in the tube. It's not brown, it's just the perfect. And they're so easy. You don't need a mirror, you don't need lip liner. If you want something to swipe and go and uh, you know, you don't wanna have to think about it, you don't have to, you know, I've shared like lip combinations before that's like line your lips with this, then put this lipstick on, then put this light lipstick in the middle and mwah, your lips look plump. That's a bit much for every day, I get it. I don't do that every day. But for a perfect like, you've put a little bit of something on your face, you want a little bit of something on your lips, this one is fantastic. And then if you want one for a little bit of color, you know, if you're, if you need to mix a little color into your life, which I recommend everyone does. You can't believe what a good, like fun lip will do for just how you feel. Uh, but this one is called Super Juicy. And it is, and a, a, like I said, a corally pinkish red color. My goodness, I'll have to film some cutaways so that you can see that. You can see that it's not a uh, super opaque formula. It is very like sheer and thin and lovely. Lovely darling, just lovely, okay? You're going to look like a goddess, okay? Okay. Last thing to share with you, I probably should have looked up how you say the name of this brand. Say? It's S-A-I-E? I'm not sure, okay? I'm just not sure. This was something that my girlfriends, when I was in Charleston, we went to Sephora and it's funny because both of my girlfriends follow a bunch of people on Instagram and stuff that I don't follow. 
I can't be inundated with like, you know, the fashion and beauty blogger people constantly uh, because I'm like, oh, that looks great. I'll try that. Oh, I'll try that. You know, if it's if, if that's what they're just sharing every day, then I can't do that because it's it's way too tempting for me. But my girlfriends follow them. And so from time to time, they'll say, hey, did you see so and so talked about this or that? They were telling me that they had seen some other people on Instagram talk about this product and I decided to try it. Uh, based on their reviews, my girlfriend's reviews, who both, I guess, had tried it as well. And I kind of wish, I think they had a darker shade. I kind of wish I would have gotten the darker shade, but I love it anyways. It's whatever this brand is. Say, Sai, I don't know, I'm not even gonna butcher it like that. S-A-I-E, and the shade is Star Glow. It's, again, it's it's similar to, I guess, I guess what you could say is, it's similar to this, although it doesn't provide any coverage, it just provides the illumination. This to me, I can wear like almost like a almost like a tinted moisturizer, super super sheer foundation kind of feel to it. Very thick and like oh, feels so good. This is thinner, uh, but it gives you that really hydrated, glowy without glitter. Okay, nothing I share. I, I will always tell you if something is like glittery because I don't really do glitter. I like glow without glitter. This is Glow Without Glitter, and it's really, really beautiful. It has a little pump on it. Again, if you just want to pop some mascara on, a little bit of concealer, toss some of this on and go, you can totally do that and feel like you look alive. I suffer from I look dead without makeup on syndrome, where I just have dark circles under my eyes, sometimes bags under my eyes, and people always think I'm sick when I don't have makeup on. So uh, that's unfortunate. It's been that way pretty much my entire life, and it's not fun. But uh, sometimes I just wanna pop a little something on to feel like I pulled myself together today, but I don't wanna go like, full face of makeup. So a product like this is really good for that. Um, for me, just a little bit of mascara, concealer, this, a, a little touch of the, the love, love, love lip balm, and away you go. Perfect, like quick, easy mom makeup. I wanted to share something um, conspiratorial, not really. <laughs> uh, it's not conspiratorial at all, but I wanted to share this with you because I was listening to a podcast uh, with a cyber crimes expert person and she was discussing uh, online security passport passports not passports passwords things like that it was a very fascinating and also terrifying conversation about how easy it is for people to access things and she was just talking about ways that you can keep yourself you know it was like bigger picture too like global online security world security you know, nuclear code security, that kind of terrifying thing, but also down to the personal level, your email and, um, you know, social media and bank accounts and all that kind of stuff. But she recommended this and I picked one up. So I'm including it because I just want to share it with you guys and there's really no other video for me to share it. So this can't really be a formal review of it because obviously it's still in the package. I haven't used it. This is, um, I cannot remember now what it is actually called. She called it something, but this is the YubiKey. Um, and basically what this is, you can see it has the little ports. This one is specifically for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod. And basically what this product is, it is, it is a, a key for all of your online passwords and stuff. So you can't log in to anything without this. So yes, it's going to add an extra step. And I know that people get really frustrated and annoyed with like authentication steps and they're gonna text you a code and everything. I have just learned that while that can be annoying at times, it's very, very helpful in protecting um, your information. And so this is another added layer where you've got to have this key plugged into your phone, your iPad, whatever it is for you to, or your computer for you to be able to actually log in and use your passwords on websites, bank websites, all that kind of stuff. So it's an added layer of security that if someone doesn't have this key, they cannot get into your stuff. For the price, the extra peace of mind, I just feel like this is probably going to be worth it. I will update you guys, but I did wanna take a moment to share that. I'll update you as I've used it, if I find any issues with it um, or anything like that. But given her expertise in the area, um, if she uses and recommends it, I feel like I, I, would, I would trust her to give advice on that. So let's take a moment and play a little bit of catch up. So with all of the uh, get my life together series stuff I've been doing. Um, this last month, I, <laughs> I've i had so many um, things going on, so many projects and stuff, and I have so much footage of all these things, but nothing is done. And I really, 
I, my preference is not to do like part one and part two kind of videos for you guys because I know that I like to see things from from start to completion. So I am always hesitant, unless I know I'm gonna be finishing it in the next day or two, to ever do put up a video where it's part one of this project without knowing that part two is nearly done. Um, so uh, that's why I'm sitting on all this footage, but I have been, you might be able to tell behind me, I don't know how much you can actually tell, but I have given the cabin a bit of a makeover. I'm not totally done, which is why the video is not out yet, but it, this is a favorite of mine, I'm not gonna lie. I bought these cabinets at the end of December or early January from Ikea. When I saw them, these two-tone cabinets, I fell in love with them and I knew that I wanted this whole back wall of my cabin to be like a library type feel. Um, I needed the storage and when we first erected this cabin, terrible word, but when we first um, put together this cabin, we just threw furniture in it that we already had. Um, furniture we had from other places. I got a table and a desk, but like as far as storage stuff, it was just collective from all over. And unfortunately it just, it didn't actually work for my needs very well. I felt like it was a lot of stuff everywhere and visible and I like for things to be able to be put away. Um, because I do have a lot of things and if they're all out, you know, all of this cabin serves as homeschool, uh, camera, video, work stuff, all of my crafting stuff. I've got seed stuff over here. This room, this 17 by 15, is it has to be very multi-purpose. And so to me, the best way to do that without it feeling completely chaotic and cluttered is with um, good storage. So that video will be coming soon, but I am loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, the other big projects that I've been working on is the garden, my upper garden and lower garden. So the backyard garden and then the upper, I need to come up with a name for these so that they make sense. But um, I've been doing a ton of work as well as my husband in getting this stuff done. Um, you know, this is pre-planting time in the spring. So we're focusing on a lot of like uh, weeding and cleaning out of beds and prepping things. Even though it's not actually planting time yet, it's it's just as busy um, and lots just going on with sort of spring cleaning the animals areas and all of that. So that's been a huge focus. Um, my mother-in-law is coming soon, so I'm very excited for her to be here. She's gonna be here for a couple weeks. And not only is it just great to see her and the kids you know, are so thrilled when she comes, but it also provides my husband and I opportunity to work on some things together and um, the kids are, are safe and taken care of and, and having a good fun with grandma while my husband and I can really uh, you know, dive in and, and get some projects done. So that's kind of on our upcoming list. More of those before and after projects and stuff. I just wanted to update you that I am doing these things. I just am trying not to put out half halfway videos um, right now. I'm trying to wait till the projects are done and then do a, the whole video from, from start to finish because uh, I feel like overall that's probably what you guys would prefer. Um, yeah, so all right, let's talk about books. Really for books, I don't have, I read a bunch this month, but not much that I am necessarily wanting to share. I read a lot of like political books and stuff like that. Nothing that I really want to talk about here, uh, but I did read uh, let's see, let me, let me go back to my list here because I've been keeping track for my challenge that I gave myself to read 100 books this year. But I did read this month, um, what's her name? What's her last name? Kendra Adachi's book, The Lazy Genius. And it was actually really funny because I read it and then I didn't realize that my other girlfriend was reading it and she had finished it and so she was she was basically telling, there was the three of us and she was telling my other girlfriend how much she loved it and I was like, hey, I just read that. So it's just funny that we all read it at the same time. I love books like this that are quick reads. Um, so here's here's what I will say about the book because I know it's it's I'm way behind. This book has been out for a while. Uh, people are big followers. It's called did I tell you what it was called? God, my brain all over the place. Okay, so the book is called The Lazy Genius Way. Now, just the title speaks to me. The book, my overall like feeling of the book and why I'm, I'm recommending it to you is because I think that there's there were so many helpful nuggets. Um, yeah, there's going to be some things in this book that mirror other books I've read, but because this one is coming from a mom and a, you know a busy mom, she's a working mom, it definitely uh, hits different than it does when I read it from 
you know, I, I don't know, let's just say like Atomic Habits, okay? That book is a great book, I love that book. Millions of copies of that book have sold, it's a great book, I've loved it, but it is <clears throat> some things that I'm like, well, you know, you kind of have to figure out how to apply it to your own life, whereas I feel like with Kendra's book, she does a good job of applying a lot of these principles very specifically to moms and to ways that you'll relate to. And sometimes things that I just didn't think about, like how many decisions you make in a day, it's it's crazy, it's insane how many decisions you make in a day and how you can make one decision once that prevents you from having to make that decision thousands more times, things like that. Now, there are gonna be some things in it that are very no-brainer, right? There was one section in particular that stuck out to me when she was talking about you know, doing things once, uh, making kids lunches and making all the sandwiches at once and cutting up all the fruit at once and da, da, da. things like that were kind of like, duh. Um, but I also understand that sometimes for some people, that's not how they see things. That's not how their brain naturally works. So to hear someone else say it is really helpful. So I want to put that out there, that there may be parts of the book that you go, well, of course, that just makes sense. That's how I would do things. But just keep in mind that that's not how everybody thinks. Um, but there was so much goodness in it. It was one of those books that um, I definitely wanted to go back and highlight different parts of it to remember and get ideas and ways that I could implement that into my own life. So I highly recommend that book. Listen to it on Audible, uh, grab a physical copy of the book. I think that y'all, my, my fellow mamas especially, will really, really enjoy it. Last thing I want to mention, just because it's a favorite of mine because I'm so excited about it. I went on and on about it yesterday to my family and they were all like, uh-huh, uh-huh. If you've seen in the news that they recently found the ship, the Endurance. So a few years ago, and I'll be honest with you, again, this is part of the reason I love homeschooling is I never, I, I never learned about this when I was in school. I don't remember learning about it at all. Learning about Ernest Shackleton and his exploration of Antarctica. And I read, um, I think I actually, I think the girls and I actually read, it may be on my other bookshelf, but one of the Heroes of History's book. Um, about him and his journey. And I remember the girls and I were, were just so enthralled by this story. Their ship gets stuck in the ice and it stays there for a year and then they get off uh, the ship and they go on to land and then they're stranded there for a year and then they get to this island and they have to take a little boat and get to uh, another island where there's whalers and they have to cross the island. Come to find out when he gets, you know, later when people went back, that like people couldn't cross, that couldn't hike across this island without like hiking gear. And somehow this man did it with a few of his men with no hiking gear after two years of starvation. It's just like such a testament to the human spirit and to the human, uh, you know, desire for survival and endurance. And um, it's just an incredible story, but his ship, the Endurance, um, they thought was lost forever. And they found it at the, I think that, I think it was 1.9 miles at the very bottom, like down 1.9 miles down into the ocean at the ocean floor. So um, I, I have no idea. I, I haven't looked enough to like looked into all the information enough to know if there's any hope that it'll ever get like brought up or if it's just going to stay there and they take pictures. But it was a very exciting discovery and I got really, really jazzed about it. So I will link to a couple articles about that if um, if any of you are interested in that. That kind of stuff is very fascinating to me. I love those stories. and. Just a little bit of hope um, and you know something that just brings a little smile to my spirit in the midst of all of the chaos and craziness of the world. I know I don't have to say this, I'm, I'm just going to say it because I feel the need to. There are so many awful things that are happening around the world every day. I have chosen over the last couple of years to not use my social media platforms um, to speak about these things. Because number one, I never, ever, 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 ever want anybody coming to me for news. I don't think that people should be going to any influencer for news of any kind. I, I gotta be honest with you. I think that that's a trend that needs to die. And the pressure to ask influencers to speak on everything, I think is erroneous in many, many ways and, and can be very dangerous because you're only encouraging people to speak about things that they may be completely ignorant about. And we don't need more people just flapping their lips. And unfortunately, what that means is, even at some times when I want to, I can't and don't because it doesn't feel fair to the other things that I don't discuss. So I choose to use my social media, my Instagram and YouTube channels um, to share about 
happy things and, uh, you know, sometimes frivolous things, encouraging things, motherhood, homeschool, the farm, like all of that kind of stuff, because there's lots of other places that people can go to find uh, about current events and what's going on in the world and the state of the world. And I don't want to contribute to not, not only do I not want to contribute to the noise sometimes in these areas, but I also don't want to contribute to any kind of misdirection or um, confusion about something because there's things I don't know anything about and I don't feel equipped or like I should be speaking on these things. And that bothers some people. They want influencers to talk about everything and, and you know, everybody wants them to wave that flag and post whatever the, the thing is that you're supposed to post. and. Um, you know, say the words you're supposed to say and tell people that you're praying and that they should too. Well, first of all, if you're waiting for me to tell you to pray about something, that's a problem. Um, and if I'm not praying, unless I tell you that I'm praying, that's a problem too. So I just view it as um, you kind of have to figure out where your line in the sand is because they're really, the reality is, is that there are atrocities and things happening every single day around the world. And many of which I read and know about um, from my travels and the various news sources I follow and people I know who live in these countries. And I mean, that's all my feed would be if I spoke about everything that, um, that hurts my heart. So uh, I just choose not to. It's not because I don't care. It's because I choose action in my real everyday life. Um, and I choose not to bring that into this space, which is um, my work at the end of the day. It, this is my job. It's my work. So I choose to keep most of those things um, peripherally, like just out of, out of my work. And uh, I feel like that's for me the right thing to do. For other people, it's not. They want to share everything. They want to use their platform for this and that and this and that. Um, I'm very, very specific about what I use my platform for. And if I'm going to share something or ask you guys to donate to something, that sort of thing, um, I'm, I'm very, very careful and choosy with that, those sorts of things. So hopefully you understand that just because I don't talk about it online and on social media doesn't mean that I'm not aware of it or that it's not um, a burdening my heart uh, like, like it is for so many others and that the state of the world isn't uh, also terrifying <laughs> to me as well. But Anyways, I just wanted to say that, mention that. I don't know, there's probably three people left watching this portion, but I just need to get that out there. So, huh. all right, now I feel like I brought down the whole vibe of the video. See, this is why I can't do this, sadness. Other than the horribly sad stuff at the end there, I hope that you enjoyed this favorites video. Um, I am excited for spring and all the things that are to come in the garden and outdoors and the kid building the kids playground and just all the things I'm, I'm, I'm focusing in on my family and the things that we love and making our home a place that we love and we love to be because, well, we may never ever leave here again, depending on what happens. Uh, but anyways, all right, that's it, y'all. I love you guys so much. I really truly do. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.